Live reaction Ray, how did you find that? <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, thanks for joining me again on another Lakeland 100 training vlog and if you are new to this channel, thanks for stopping by, I really appreciate it. Yeah, a bit of a mixed week this week, playing catch up from last week with strength and conditioning. Didn't help, it kind of niggled me a bit, but yeah, getting it done. Let me know, you got on, did you crush all your sessions, or like me, you found it a bit of a struggle. And two easy runs on Monday, it's always a good start to the week double runs though but yeah nothing over an hour super easy I enjoy it I always enjoy that start of the week just Rex and I sharing the miles it's super good and I did do my glutes and thighs that I missed from last week too so yeah really good start of the week feeling positive um, I've got my Montaigne vest on again and even though I love this vest, I'm not too sure if you can see, they've got these little hooks on there, which are, I'm sorry Montaigne, <laughs> if anybody's watching this from the R&D department, they're feeling a bit sensitive about themselves, but that is a shocking design feature. The amount of people I've seen lose those and personally have them drop off, I even just have to tie them in a knot now so they don't lose them. Um, phenomenal vest, nine out of 10, could be a 10 if you sort that out but yeah Monday's done feeling good Tuesday and I'm a bit down in the dumps today I missed my workout I can only manage just a couple of easy runs with Rex I've been so busy uh, I just didn't have the kind of physical or mental capacity to do it so yeah I missed it missed a workout last week missed a strength and conditioning session last week and then now this so yeah not feeling good at the moment. I do realise I'm super lucky. I still got out there for two runs. I know people who can't run at the moment, really, really struggling with their running. So I don't want to kind of dwell in this pity party for too long. Yeah, how do you guys cope when things aren't going too well? Do you just, you know, move on, not dwell on it? Um, try and cram it all in, make up for those workouts, maybe do too much. Or also then go on the flip side of that go in some kind of negative downward spiral and maybe just kind of sack the whole week off yeah really really interested how you guys cope when things aren't going to plan please comment below it was awesome this morning when i was lying in bed um i need a little app on my phone to um have a bird song recognition i could hear two birds just um chatting away with each other it woke me up which initially <laughs> was a bit annoying but it was awesome i could just hear one chirping right outside the bedroom and then in the distance i could just hear another one they were to communicate with each other really curious um what they were saying how complex is bird language goodness me this has gone off on a bit of a tangent but yeah what kind of level of communication uh do they have with each other but yeah it was really interesting just to hear the two hear them both chatting away all these rocks here basically to try and stop people who shouldn't be going in the woods going in the woods on vehicles i live in the northeast and uh i'd be really curious is that a problem up and down the country yeah i'd hope to have done tuesday's session on wednesday because obviously i missed yesterday's session but yeah it just didn't happen what is going on it's not all doom and gloom i did get my core workout done so yeah day wasn't a complete write-off gonna stay positive though in the scheme of things a week or two of not so great training in august september of 2022 um yeah like i say in the scheme of things com considering i'm training for the lakeland 100 which is at the end of july in 2023 yeah, I don't think it's too bad. You know what? I'm a great believer that something is better than nothing. And I did get out for two short runs, so the day wasn't a complete write-off. But yeah, fingers crossed, Thursday is better. Oh, I just stood in some dog poo. All you dog walkers out there, please, 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 let your dogs go and poo in the bushes somewhere off the path. Pick it up, flick it away. Don't just leave it on the path, you animals. I'm running the risk of... Uh, this week's vlog being quite a miserable bit of a downer update but that's the theme of the week Thursday I missed workouts again I did an easy run in the morning um, 
and then life just got in the way I had um, work and parenting commitments and uh, yeah I just couldn't get it done simple as that so feeling a bit down but what is bad um, now it's Thursday with I've cross country on Saturday I missed my opportunity to get the other workout in I don't like to do two hard sessions back to back um, so yeah it's only going to be one quality session this week um, did do my strength and conditioning got my upper body done so it's not all doom and gloom trying to stay positive um, you know enough to dwell on the negatives just the way it is sometimes he's a good boy oh Rick's has got a pool here yeah he's got a pool here we've got the vets on Monday got the vets on Monday Rick's he's a good boy Friday I panicked I panicked on Friday and I broke one of the golden rules of training back to back hard sessions I've got cross country tomorrow um, which is roughly 10k hard running but like a complete idiot I talked myself into doing my 20 20 20 session so it's 20 minutes easy 20 minutes moderate and then 20 minutes hard <sighs> disappointed with myself but I just couldn't uh, <laughs> I couldn't stop it I'd missed all my workouts so far in the week and I panicked broke the rules hopefully it doesn't come back to bite me on the bum Rex, what? what? let me see live reaction Ray, how would you find that? <laughs> <laughs> and Saturday was the return of cross country first fixture is oh wow you know ever since I've been to cross country it's always Wreckington and that was the same this year it's a pretty uh, friendly fixture Wreckington as far as terrain's concerned and usually weather's concerned although we did have a downpour Saturday morning that didn't really translate into a sloppy muddy course so it was just trail shoes I wore my NV Forest I think they're called uh, really lightweight fantastic grip really really good shoe um, I wouldn't want to spend hours and hours in them but uh, yeah for a 10k cross country or short trail race ooh, 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 ooh. really really good I had a pretty good run I enjoyed it I scored for Sedgefield which is that's always my goal to be honest you know I'm definitely uh, the season of my life times are not getting any faster so as long as I can score for the team I really enjoy that oh my goodness it's so easy <coughs> so yeah I think I was fourth counter I'm not too sure how Sedgefield did as a team we're in division two now so it's going to be just a goal of ours to stay in division two I think that is that would be a big achievement if Sedgefield could stay in division two but yeah great to get the first cross country out the way it's such a spectacle I would definitely recommend anybody who is mindful about training and improving as a runner um, enjoys trails and uh, wants to save some money if that's your only motivation uh, do cross country I know for us with the North East Harrier League I think it's about five pound for the season so you get about six races for a fiver no t-shirts and medals but the 10k races which are in some lovely places in the northeast. You get to run around Annick Estate, so if you like Harry Potter, that's good. Lambton Castle, beautiful Thornley Hall Farm, brutal, um, and some other great venues too. Druidge Bay, absolutely lovely place. So, yeah, and it's super good value for money and such a good workout. So, yeah, get signed up for cross country, join a club, do some cross country. I would definitely recommend that. Um, but that was it, I did a little easy run with Rex in the morning two or three miles other than that Saturday was pretty easy, so yeah, Saturday done Sunday and yeah, definitely feeling fatigued from 2020-20 and then cross country and now it's my long run so yeah, my aging legs um, I'm definitely feeling it but today is about 
40 miles on the trails and joined by Aaron for some of them and then Aaron and Neil and then Neil and we just had a coffee and now I'm running home so yeah all in all pretty good I forgot to say yeah strength and conditioning last workout of the week was my glutes and thighs so that's four strength sessions this week which is good so yeah I think I've got away with it don't feel too bad after cramming all of my workouts in to the last few days of the week all my strength workouts too so from what started out or what was looking like potentially a bad week ended up not being too bad so yeah can't complain okay that's me done hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a like share and subscribe thanks for watching maybe check out some of the other videos too that's a big help to the channel you take care everybody see you next week